Hi traders, uh, this is Nenad speaking and uh, today we have our weekly Forex recap, it's July 30 and uh, last week was the best regarding possible pips on the table and I hope that you manage also to make pips uh, here with me as we had some nice nice setups uh, from the last week. As you can see today market is ranging and uh, honestly it's more like it's waiting for the big news because this week we will have a lot of news the market uh, uh, is probably going to react on uh, uh, bank of japan and then we will have fed news bank bank of england so a lot of lot of uh, fundamental views and fundamental releases and of course uh, the market is always waiting that is why i uh, am patient and uh, mostly uh, now I'm waiting for four hour setups to form because uh, for one hour setups and intraday trading, we mostly need momentum. Without momentum, you cannot place intraday trades. So when you don't have momentum, you don't trade intraday, you rather place trades on four hour time, them or four hour time frame. And that is usually reserved uh, for um, arranging markets, markets that are actually waiting for something. So uh, before I start, I will present you with the last week results and I hope that uh, we will make pips again. So no, um, ESMA rules will not have any impact on volatility, guys, because a lot of traders actually uh, will trade also with a higher leverage and a lot of old traders, uh, it was situation was solved. So it will, it will not have any impact on volatility because volatility is mostly made by big banks, big money. Retail traders account for very small percent. And honestly, uh, ESMA will not have any impact on volatility. Uh, to have in, just have in mind, guys, that I still uh, trade with big leverage on our elite currency website. You can see our trusted brokers list and you can uh, pick uh, whatever broker you prefer from our trusted brokers i have the account now with exit trader also i have the account with admiral markets but on our ecs uh, uh, web page you will see actually uh, the list of brokers uh, trusted brokers uh, so we move on muki is asking about J uh, dollar yen trade of course i'm i'm having a dollar yen trade that i actually uh I uh, carry it over the weekend and uh, that is for our time frame trade. So I will show you basically you will be able probably to enter uh, also today because the price is not moving very much and I guess that now it's in the zone. So risk disclaimer, CFD and Forex are leveraged products can result in losses that exceed your deposits and have in mind that Forex trading is risky activity and please understand full risk before start to trade forex everything you see and here is my personal opinion only and trades give price a breathing room and usually uh, we say that uh, uh, the zone that we enter is is go, goes by the name of the poc so poc is the entry zone and uh, we always enter in the zone uh, add the spread to your stop loss and even if you trade via ecn account at two to five pips spread depending on pair traded. For equities also add a spread to your stop loss and we always take one position per listed pair. So it's either alternative or positional trade. Positional trades are trend trades, alternative trades are counter trend trades. And breakout trades and scalp trade levels can also be traded independently. So these setups are valid for today, tomorrow and sometimes the day after tomorrow and pay attention to my Twitter updates. Also add these levels to your system and pay attention to trends so you might find other trend-based entries. And the term pips pool, it is the maximum available number of pips you could have made on our recap entries. Okay, so these are results for the previous week. So Euro dollar was good for possibly 120 pips and definitely, in my opinion, this was the trade of the week. Uh, very, very good, very good performance. Uh, by euro dollar uh, the trade went uh, heavily into our profits 
and I was very, very happy with the final result. Okay, then uh, dollar yen, guys, also. Let me just adjust the camera here. Okay, so dollar yen. Uh, yeah, this is 35 pips, guys. So this is typo. So it is 35 pips, actually. Uh, then uh, we have uh, uh, also uh, the Australian dollar. That was good for 70 pips. The pound dollar for 80 pips. And the, to and the BDC uh, dollar. The BDC dollar, uh, the Bitcoin very very good trade uh, this time it was successful 140 pips if you trade uh, the bitcoin i still don't trade it live uh, i prefer to trade currencies but i as you can see uh, setups can also be found on the bdc and if you traded it uh, you would have made a maximum uh, even more than 140 i will show you the chart but it went to full profit uh, so total pool uh, it was uh, 575 to 715 and the trade of the week definitely the euro dollar this is the euro dollar chart and this vertical line always represents the time of our webinar so you can always check what happened after i gave you the setup so in this case uh, the price went to the poc zone and started to reject and you would have made 120 possible pips maybe even more if you traded the rejection as i said so it was alternative sell, sell around this level 1750 7, uh, 1750 so if you sold it there you would have made some nice pips here on the euro dollar next one uh, was the gbp dollar uh, the, now i have this let me just yeah we remove this share okay so now it's okay so 3030 was a buy position and the sell position was 3180. The price went to sell position, then went into a drawdown and then finally dropped. And again, uh, this session recap, I need to say, was the best so far with really more than 700 pips. So this was a possible sell. If you sold it there, you see what happened. Very, very good rejection and a very good price action. The Australian dollar still selling the rallies, guys. 74.40 uh, is was the the entry, uh, so the price went to 74.40. Then it dropped some straight 40, 45 pips. Then it went up again, then dropped again. So, in my opinion, the Australian dollar is still sold on rallies. Dollar yen obviously waiting for the Bank of Japan, very waiting for uh, some dollar news to push. And today's uh, late uh, or tomorrow's early morning Bank of Japan uh, statement and monetary policy guidance. Uh, that is the, the very, uh, very, very volatile event. And I think that it will move the, the dollar yen. I think uh, that uh, the dollar yen has been bought on dips. You can see some of my positions on the account. I put the screenshots from and you can see that basically I am long now uh dollar yen i have uh, three small positions divided it's called scaling in and you can see that i'm long dollar yen and i in my opinion dollar yen should go more to the upside the bdc dollar was also very very good trade if you traded it uh, you would have made uh, more than 100 pips because i said sell okay at around uh, 70 yeah this was the slide for today but generally speaking this was the selling zone and the price dropped heavily so uh, 140 pips i think was the bdc uh, yeah so that was very very good trade and i guess that you also could have made some nice money if you traded it i didn't uh, put uh, the correct markets here but the bdc dollar was a very very good trade so total for the previous week this is the result guys okay here is the result if you traded it then i think that you should be happy with it because it went a lot of lot of pips into our favor here or in bdc as i say i'm not uh, an active trader of the b on of the bdc dollar so i'm still keeping currencies but uh, maybe in the future i will also start to trade but i know that a lot of you actually uh, trade the BDC dollar. That is why I make analysis also for you.
and now the setups for this week so guys have in mind that these setups are valid for today tomorrow sometimes the day after tomorrow these are all technical setups so if you uh, if you see that there is some strong impending news coming please decide yourself whether you will trade or not as i say i have a dollar yen position i will risk 50 pips uh, because i made much more last week so uh, let's let's see i mean i will keep it until the bank of japan although i know it's risky event the price can hit my stop loss and go later in profits but i'm willing now to risk because my risk is small and guys i always say uh, i uh, basically want to to risk my profits this is the euro dollar as you can see on the chart and uh, now i will open it okay so uh, euro dollar now at this point i will move on to yeah this one so euro dollar is basically uh, ranging it's very very slow day and i honestly think that we can sell the euro dollar a little bit higher uh, just a little bit higher guys uh, there is a poc zone there and uh, this is uh, 1750 it's a sell 1630 is a buy so uh here you can see uh the zone actually appears here somewhere here at the top of this range uh, then if you want to buy it it should drop now it's in the middle there is some potential head and shoulders left head right you see so if we want to sell it we could sell it from the zone somewhere here let's wait let's see but this is a good spot to sell the euro dollar here and we can actually go for a long trade down there okay guys okay the gbp dollar uh, 3180 is a sell mm, i uh, will probably give a pending order before bank of england announces the rate decision and i think i will sell the gbp dollar and uh, I will give that order also to uh, all uh, Elite Currency Live members on Telegram channel. Uh, it uh, will happen on Thursday. But uh, as I say, these setups are valid for today, tomorrow and early Wednesday. So if this happens until early Wednesday, it's OK. But before the, uh, before the rate high decision, uh, I will probably also post a new setup for Telegram uh, Live members. and. Uh, I'm, I want to sell because my opinion is that uh, the rate high has already been priced in, guys. Usually in Forex market, everything is priced in before you even realize. So uh, there will be, of course, uh, uh, reactions after the BOE hikes the rate, but I will be selling it, guys. Remember my words. Mark my words. So again, 3180 is the place to sell it. Okay. And you can see it here. Uh, the GBP dollar, uh, yeah, 3180. It needs to go a little bit more to the upside. This could be the spot to sell. Look for reversal pattern here. And I think this is also head and shoulders. The price should drop. Of course, if it drops a little bit lower towards weekly L3, I think that we could buy from there. Again, this is all prior to Bank of England announcement. So uh, keep your eyes on it. Australian dollar, same setup as for the previous week, sell at around 74.40, stop 75.20, TP 73.20, buy around 73.20, stop 73, and 73.90 is the TP. The Australian dollar still sold on rail is big, big, big range now, up, down, up, down, inverted head and shoulders, then head and shoulders, a lot of, lot of, lot of, uh, I might say waiting because generally speaking, the Australian dollar is bearish. As you can see here, uh, weekly range. Yeah, we cannot see it clearly on this chart. I will open a new chart. So uh, here, guys, on weekly, you will see that the weekly range has been broken. Once the weekly breaks, it's strong. So see it here, guys. A lot of, lot of, lot of. Uh, moment uh, from this spot guys because this is the m m pattern very 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 strong also this low has been broken here so i think this is bearish big huge m pattern on weekly chart so i still think that 
um, that the the Australian dollar is sold on rally, so I will be selling it, guys. Okay, so mark this M pattern on the weekly chart. Very strong bearish pattern. So again, the setup for the euro for the Australian dollar is to sell here, potentially buy there. But I'm more inclined to selling the Australian dollar. Dollar yen. These are my positions currently. I'm running these positions. Uh, this is. Uh, the long uh, setup uh, i'm willing to risk it uh, if the price does not uh, break this uh, inverted head and shoulders down it should uh, spike to the upside this is actually the the, the setup uh, from my camarilla make the light uh, method and uh, i'm holding it uh, also from friday today we were like 20 pips in profit but i didn't close it i really want more pips than 20 pips because this is four hour time frame so if we open also here guys four hour time frame uh, we will also see the inverted head and shoulders the big drop now this is where buyers are and i think we there is a chance for a price to push further upside as i said uh, this is my camera make the light uh, method signal on four hour time frame uh, also big inverted head and shoulders here bullish patterns so let's wait uh okay next one is uh and final one is the bdc dollar after i show you these guys you can ask questions uh really oh, i want to be straightforward uh, direct uh, uh, any questions of course you might ask no problem with it i will explain okay so uh the BDC dollar again, it's in uptrend, 80.40 buy, stop 79.40, TP 82.80, sell 82.80, stop 83.80, and TP is 81.90. Fixed stop loss for all BDC setups is 100 pips. Okay, so the chart, the BDC dollar is here. You see inverted head and shoulders again. But it also it could spike okay so guys watch these levels 80 40 82 80 okay important levels so if it drops it could actually spike from this zone if it goes up i think that 82 80 could actually sell it you see a lot of sellers here in the past so that would be the setup also for the bdc dollar Okay, guys, now you can ask questions uh, and I will roll slides once more uh, when we are close to uh, the end of the webinar. So you will see the setups again. Um, our, our Gulet is asking, will the BOJ Ray decision impact the DOC? Uh, eh, not so much. I don't think so. There will be, of course, impact, but the Australian dollar now is led by uh, the strength and weakness of the dollar and generally the weakness of the Australian dollar. Uh, the trade war uh, will not have a good impact also on, on the Australian dollar. So it's more like the Australian dollar is weak. So there will be some, of course, effect because every market is uh, correlated to other markets, right? But uh, as I say, uh, it will not have a strong impact. I will be selling it, whatever happens, really, I don't care. I want to see. I want to see down because, for me, this is the only logic thing. When I when I see something like this on weekly, guys, this is not like we are seeing this all the time. Watch this. Watch this. M. You know what M is. On one minute time frame, it's nothing, but on weekly time frame, it's everything. So I really want to see it go lower. I don't like these weeks. I'm not sure why. Who is buying there? But generally speaking, all these ranges have been broken, so it should go down. Technically, it should go down. So let's wait. I mean, we can do nothing but wait. Um, it's either hit, it's either stop loss or profits, right? So we will see. But I think that it should really drop. Um, Mario is asking to check the dollar cad. Uh, yeah, the dollar cad. I I I, wa I was watching it today, and I I was thinking to make some ha, counter trend trade, but I was late, and I also kept dollar yen trade definitely counter trend possibility if it doesn't break 29.85 it should go here and watch this 
let me just okay yeah i don't see there wait just give me a few seconds i need to readjust my template not sure why it doesn't show it should be showing let me just add the indicator our proprietary indicator CS. okay bollinger band where is it yeah so this is it it is you see that there is a big divergence here and it's normal and now this could be a good uh, counter trend setup uh, but the market is slow now and i don't like to trade one hour time frames without momentum that is why i stick to four hour template uh can we make the light when there is no big momentum and why not four hour trading is also good it's, it doesn't have like potential to make instant pips but still it's good to trade and i like to hold positions also on four hour time frame for example like my dollar yen on the dollar cat i think it could go up watch this okay even here guys we can re readjust you see there is the versions there close inside if this wasn't uh, like the end of day and if we hit momentum i would say go long exactly now at this spot but you know it's not like i want to trade one hour time frame but there is no momentum i think it should go up if it breaks the atr projection low it should probably hit 2970 but now according to this i would definitely go long if we had momentum and if there wasn't the end of the trading day because dollar cad is not a big mover dur during Tokyo session. So it usually moves during uh, the US session. So, you know, if this was a normal trading day, I would say go long now. Yes, definitely. So, yeah, that, that's it, guys. Do you have any more questions? Uh, okay, DAX. Uh, I see the question about DAX. Okay. Let me wind it here. So, okay should be there wait wait a second why am i not seeing it okay let's find it there so dax dax yeah it's there here it is okay this is obviously uptrend and uh, i think that price could drop here and make a u-turn if it breaks this level then this is the level but this is long this is this is really bullish market so yeah i would say if it drops go long so dex is bullish you see this this is very bullish there were some uh, people on forex factory when i was very active on forex factory uh there was a guy named Fontu from Forex Factory, and he liked it, he really liked to chart this kind of pattern. I think this pattern was like camel's back or something. And I remember him charting this pattern here. So th this is bullish, guys. But you, you really need to wait. I mean, it can reject, but I always wait for the confirmation. But what's the confirmation in this zone? I think we could go long there, or eventually if it drops there but this is the first zone close to weekly l3 this middle bollinger band line you see it's tight stepping up as i say this is bullish but uh, the only problem is we don't have momentum now and you want momentum if you want to trade one hour time frame if you want to trade four hour you don't need momentum this is positional trading okay so for this i would say long but no momentum no trade for me yes yeah the dollar yen i'm still long as you can see my positions live account 
I also have connected this account to my FX book and all Telegram channel trades that I that I personally give uh, to our members are recorded in my FX book, guys. So you need to be transparent. Also, we have statistics. You know, it's like we are traders and everything that we do is for traders joy, really. You know, when you want to risk something, try to risk your profits. Now we can all gamble. I'm not saying guys, I always say, you know, it's, it's, it's our approach. If you want to make 30, 40%, we need to be ready to risk 30, 40%. And market is always unpredictable. We try to keep it, do our bidding, but uh, it, it, it's not always listening. Because of that, we need to trade with low risk. The hardest part, guys, believe me, because, you know, I also trade big accounts. I trade all accounts. I don't care which size is. But when you make a big drawdown, it's harder to make it up for it. Then it's like when you lose one or two trades and you just lose profits. So it's always good to have low risk when you trade. Okay, so uh, yeah, Mario is saying that he was long on dollar cat. Okay, guys, so I will roll the slides. If you have more questions, feel free to ask. This webinar is recorded. It will be uploaded, of course. And uh, yeah, I mean, we upload it to YouTube channel. So this is Euro dollar. This is pound dollar. This is the Australian dollar. This is the dollar yen, and this is the Bitcoin. So that would be it. If you don't have any questions, uh, we can call it a day. Uh, it's a slow day. It's normal because of the Bank of Japan decision. As I say, I might lose this trade because it's a risky event, but I'm willing to risk it. And generally speaking, if anything is as it is now, dollar yen should go up if something changes dollar yen will drop below 110 but generally speaking if everything is as it should be and there is no surprises from the bank of japan dollar yen should go up manuel is asking about euro yen uh, euro yen is here uh, for, for euro yen yeah it's going up but it's setting up for a potential short trade. So for this, I would go short. Probably it will go here and then it will start to make a U-turn. So watch the zone 130, 20, 30. So this is the zone. Eventually it can go here, 130, 50, and then it could start to reject. So yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, so uh, I don't see any questions. I think that everything is clear. Of course, uh, for all of you who don't know, we are having a seminar in Ljubljana, Slovenia, 22nd of September, 2018. Chris and I will be there. And you can uh, reserve your spots, guys, online also. Uh, I will uh, show you the link now, okay. So this is the link. You can feel free, guys, to actually come. And uh, we can chat. We can talk. We will be showing new stuff, new things. We will be showing results. So yeah, I feel free to come. Yes, this is Chris and I. And of course, in Slovenia, Ljubljana, Radisson Blue Hotel, feel free to come. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, as always, we will be there for you. I'm here to help you out and I will see you soon. Okay, so cheers guys. And as always, trade safe.